sweet dreams. Sleep tight. We've all said that soothingly as we've tucked our kids into bed, night after night after night. But many kids don't have sweet dreams. They snore loudly, restlessly tossing back and forth. They struggle for breath, even stop breathing for short periods. Sometimes they wake up during the night gasping for air. When you breathe, air travels down your throat, through your windpipe, and into your lungs. The narrowest part of that pathway is in the back of your throat. During sleep, our muscles relax. The muscles in our throat, however, maintain some tone to hold our airway open for us to breathe. For some children, these muscles relax too much. This can cause the airway to narrow. Partial airway narrowing will often result in snoring. But in some children, the throat closes so much that enough air cannot get through to the lungs. When this happens, the brain sends an alarm to open the airway. Most often, this is associated with a brief arousal from sleep. The brain quickly reactivates the muscles that hold the throat open. Air gets through again, and the brain goes back to sleep. This condition is called obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, when the upper airway becomes narrow as the muscles naturally relax during sleep. Hypoventilation is when the patient's breathing is very shallow. This will cause low oxygen levels and high carbon dioxide levels in the body. The brain will signal the body to breathe faster to try to correct this. This occurs in neuromuscular patients as their chest walls get weaker. Central sleep apnea is when sleep apnea occurs due to neurological abnormalities. Complex sleep apnea is when CPAP or BiPAP trigger dormant central sleep apnea. Your physician will prescribe the equipment based on your child's needs. Types of treatment CPAP has one continuous pressure for inspiration. It is the gold standard for OSA and obesity OSA. Do not use with neuromuscular patients. BiPAP has two alternating air pressures, IPAP and EPAP, and is available in three modes. Spontaneous is when the flow sensor detects the user breathing in and triggers the IPAP and then cycles back the EPAP. Timed is when the IPAP and EPAP cycling is machine triggered. Spontaneous timed is when the flow sensor detects the user breathing in and triggers the IPAP, but the device also has a backup response if the user stops breathing. If apnea occurs, the BiPAP responds with higher pressure airflow to stimulate breathing. It is important to remember BiPAP does not actually breathe for you. BiPAP AVAPS, Average Volume Assured Pressure Support, automatically adapts to disease progression and changing patient needs. It is starting to be used with the neuromuscular population, hypoventilation patients, and COPD patients. Adaptive servo ventilators, ASV, are most often used with patients who have central sleep apnea, heart failure, and complex sleep apnea. ASV monitors and responds to every breath the patient takes. When sleep apnea occurs, it responds with air pressure that mimics approximately 90% of the patient's normal breathing. As the apnea ends, the ASV slowly stops providing breathing support. Here at Children's Hospital, we use AutoSV by Philip Respironics. Trilogy Ventilator is a ventilator that can be used in different modes. It can be used for BiPAP, as a SIP ventilator, or as a ventilator. It is very compact. Mask Fitting Comfort Take the time to find the mask that works for you. Titration Study no matter what equipment you are ordered, you will need a titration study to fine-tune your settings to be just right for you. Getting used to PAP. Try wearing it while awake for an hour a day. Attach your mask to your equipment and switch the unit on. Practice breathing through the mask for one hour while watching TV, video games, or reading. Use your equipment during scheduled one-hour naps. Use your equipment initially three to four hours a night. Then use your equipment through the entire night. 
Put it on every night, even if you know you'll take it off at some point. Pap takes time, but it is well worth the effort. At first, I didn't feel like using the BiPAP, but after a while of using it, I've noticed it helps you get better sleep and feel rested throughout the day. When I wake up in the morning, I, you know, because when I used to wake up without it, I would be tired. And, but now with it, um, uh, I get a full night's sleep and it makes everything a lot, a lot easier and it makes your breathing, you know, so much easier 